Space engineers, welcome back to Aries Colony. I'm Wellington 6012. How is everybody? Hope you're good. Right. So yes, let's uh, let's get into things. Quite a bit to do today, I think. And yeah, we'll start off. Uh, we'll just get right view. So um, yeah, another another orcs carrier. So I guess it's just we're getting to the size that it's becoming a bit of a threat, maybe, and it's increasing how often they spawn. Unless it's an update, but I seem to recall that, uh, yeah, as you got a bigger grid, then they would be coming a bit more often. Hmm. All right. Well, as long as he stays up there, we'll be all right. Uh, yes. Anyway, solar array. So really, really happy with how that came out. So as you can see, I have done some underground mining. Let's just do a little bit of a look down here. So, uh, yeah, that's... Um, so down here, if we go in here, then yes, here's our little rabbit burrow type thing. So there's one, one array up there, and there's another one down there. I think there's a couple down there. So yeah, I've put these little indicators on, so I don't get lost. So there's another one up there, so we can always find a way out. Because, uh, yeah, I learned that at Fort Rutherford, actually, with the wind turbines. Hmm. Right, so that's um that's all that. That's good. That was using the projection and stuff like that. So uh, it took a little bit of time, as you can see, where we're sort of um, getting on with the day. Now, actually, just while I think of this, they these are working well. I don't think they're going quick enough. The hinges aren't going quick enough. The rotors aren't going quick enough. Bearing in mind that I made the assumption that from that horizon to that horizon for the sun was two and a half hours. But uh, just when the sun goes down today, I'll make sure that I check and see how far along those timers have got. Because I've got the rotor timers going, I can actually, it's, it is basically a timer which is telling me how, how long it'll take to get over. So it may be that I need to speed things up, which is, uh, which is cool. I knew that. And also with the rotor, it doesn't actually, because we're on the equator, it doesn't actually need to turn or even once the hinge went up potentially it could turn quite quickly and then go back down so i may look at reprogramming that i don't regret in any way what i did because it was proof of concept certainly if we were not on the equator then you would definitely want that rotating but here on the equator you don't need it until it actually goes round to yeah but anyway, as I say, proof of concept, and it's not, doesn't alter it in any way, so I'll probably just keep it as is. Right, so today, what I want to do is head over here, and today and tomorrow probably, well, I say tomorrow, but next episode, I think that what I want to do is get a retrieval drone happening, and a grinder pit. So, I don't know which one comes first. Probably, probably the retrieval drone, actually. Yeah, so first of all, I need to get a pipeline out here. So, we'll start with that. And I've got a few ideas for that. Let's just get rid of you. Didn't mean to get rid of you. So, let's uh, put some of these conveyors in. I might even do a sped up thing or something. Just to get this happening so uh, yeah so as i said you you pretty much find me where you left me last time i did the edit for the last video and i'm pretty much straight back into it today so it uh, is a bit of a continuation yeah just trying to trying to really keep up on this at the moment and try and get ahead because i'm sort of 
I'm almost making to order these videos, which is not how I like to do it. Uh, there might be Umis around. Find him and smash him. Okay, so that's... Okay, let me do this. And then we'll just have a look at that. Is, is he going to spawn like a drone or something? Okay. What number are you? Number five. Alright, uh, there it is. So that's going that way. And that's going the other way. Okay, so that, that's alright. That's quite big, that one. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll just let them do their things. Yeah, I was actually talking with uh, a couple of people in the comments about pirates and things and yeah it may be that um i was thinking of making things a little bit more aggressive so if i could find a mod that did that but, um maybe maybe i don't need to maybe they're, they're just about to become more aggressive let's just make a little bit of a hole here yeah hmm okay so yeah what i'll uh i think what i'll do is this in um yeah that that'll come out under here so oh, I, may, I may as well do that now we'll just we'll just get out into the open and then we'll see see what's what so i do want to get this a little bit away from oh my gee my work oh this is one of them uh, you and i tell you what what i'm going to do is going to put in one of those. Yep. And, uh... Right. Okay, so that's that's that. That comes out to here. Probably do a little bit of a loopy thing up there. And just to get a bit more height again. And then do it on a bit of an angle so it's it's, a, it's out here somewhere i'm thinking just one of these lengths that's 20 20 long so yeah it'll be out here somewhere i think that will be a good spot for it i'm quite happy for stuff to be spread out and i'm really these pipelines are growing on me they really are i'm going to continue with these for sure and uh, get some stuff happening so all right so uh, yes i think uh, i think i might either do a montage or i'll just skip ahead so whatever you see you see we'll see you soon
Okay, so that's uh, that's all done. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Stand boy, nearly done. Uh, actually, it's quite good because I don't think I've shown you this before. I can't, I can't remember if I've shown you this before. So uh, yeah, that, that's all sorted down there, um, as you can see. And we've got a uh, container there, and oh, I knew I missed. So then, just for a little bit of uh, decoration, so that's uh, this. This is what I was doing. Oh gosh, sorry. Uh, this is what I was doing. Storm doesn't help. So you're familiar with this? You under there. Oh, why won't you go under? There we go. Okay, so we've done that. Got the two alternating, so that way we can uh, step these down. Like that. That's cool. So I reckon that just gives a really nice detail to that. And I, I've done this before, I'm just not sure whether you've actually seen it. Gosh, a storm. It's putting these little reinforcing things on here. Just again. Okay. And then uh, putting just putting one of those on. Yeah. Which of course you would have seen because I started today standing on one of these. So um yeah, so anyway. That's cool. Alright, let's uh let's get out of this weather, shall we? Because yeah, let's let's get out of the weather. Oh, ow! Okay, let's let's just heal ourselves after we flew into that wall, and let's head inside. Uh, so I'm just going to take this in because I think that this would be quite useful to work off. Now this retrieval drone, I have no idea how I'm going to do this, so this will be interesting. It'll be very interesting. Now, first thing we're going to have to do is shut the door on the storm. There we go. Now they will make a loud noise in a second. Gosh, they are loud. Alright, so uh, yes, let's uh, let's get going in here. I'll grab some steel. And I think we'll change the colour on you. Maybe do that. Yeah, that'll be good. Right, so let's just grab Hmm. Gotta start somewhere. So I'm I'm gonna gonna start with this uh, as a base to work from. Yeah, because this, this has got fuel facilities on it, so we'll just turn you on. And yeah, so I think that'll be a good spot. Right, um, let's have a bit of a think about what we're doing here. So I'll grab some of them. Grab the bits for a connector. So this is just a real simple retrieval drone. Uh, remote control. And hydrogen powered obviously, because we're not using atmospheric thrusters. So probably the first thing I'm going to have to do... is actually okay I'm gonna put a couple of batteries on as soon as I find them just uh, little ones I'm gonna put them on like that and then I'm gonna put on Piston. So as I 
get the right thing. Oh, why don't you... That was a lot harder work than it needed to be. Let's grab the parts for those. Uh, let's try one of these new feet thingies. So not a landing gear, one of, one of these magnetic plates. Oh no, they're pretty big, aren't they? Okay, let's let's not. <laughs> let's let's go for one of these ones instead. <laughs> All right. They're massive. I didn't realise they were that big. Um, do I still? Oh, no, nah, they're they're too big. <laughs> tempting, tempting. Okay, so that's that's fine. Gosh, this weather is just atrocious. Okay, so that will come down. That's fine. Oh, that's not the right button. Okay, so let's just have a bit of a think about thrusters. So, fuel tanks, I'm just going to go for... How am I going to do this? Hmm, indeed. How am I going to do this? Do I do them that way, or... Okay, so what if I do them... There. Is that another orc ship? There is another orc ship. Hmm. Okay, if I do that. Gosh, this weather is just absolutely appalling. And I'm in here, I'm protected inside, but yeah, that doesn't seem to make any difference. Okay, so that's that's those. Okay, let, let's just make this happen. Let's just make it work. I am going to put some of those on there. You on there and there. So that'll, uh, that'll have my um, up and down, side to side working. Just, uh, I'll just queue up some more of the metal grids. Okay, so that, that will have them. And then... Those like that. Those like that. Okay. 
Okay, so that's uh, that's good. I think those batteries are in the wrong place. <laughs> Uh, that's still attached here. Yeah, they're definitely in the wrong place. Because if they weren't there, oh, that's annoying. Then I could put one of those in, and then just put one of those in. And there we go. That's that's connected now. That's fine. And. Yeah, we can put a camera on here, like so, that's good, so yeah, we can, we can, whoop. we can get rid of these, because we're all connected under there, so that's, that's fine. Okay, and look. Look, we can even put two thrusters on there, like so. Then we just need a couple on the front, which they're going to have to go probably up the top. But that's uh, that's all right. those on there yeah this will this will work it's actually come together pretty well Thank you Okay, okay, so that's that's all right. Fuel low. All right, let me just uh, recharge. Fuel critical. Now, why did that not warn me? Maybe it did. Yeah, so what I want is now to um, but gonna need an antenna. So let's let's put that down here. And we will need a remote what's that orc saying there still saying saying stuff I think we just ignore those orcs until they um, until we regret ignoring them. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to lock this uh, and just make sure that these all fire up, which they do. I'm going to need to turn all them off. Uh, I'll jump in here and do that. Good to get out of that wind. There we go. And now back into the wind. Right, even though we're inside, so I don't get that. Anyway, 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 right. Um, I think I'm just about done with this. Obviously I need to put on... Not obviously, I need to put on some batteries since we forgot... Not forgot, we just sort of removed them before. So let's go for... Three of those. That's 
good. Um, we will need some timers. Tell you what else we need to do is we need to. Are these filling up. They are filling up. Uh, we need to find some ice. Just we'll, we'll get this underway now, and uh, yeah, I will. So we'll get three. That because that's how much fits in uh, the cargo container. If I can uh, get into there. Hmm. I'm gonna get into there. Yeah. So I'll just uh, I'll quickly finish this off, and uh, yeah, then we'll um, we'll set it all up. So that's fine. That's fine. We need some timers. One, two, three, four. Just four of those, I think. course I'm gonna need a gyro oh we need some down oh we need some down thrust as well forgot about that um, the way to do that will be to move you we'll just get the camera off first oh I want to do because we could just sneak it in there that'll be fine so I think that's everything so just give me some time to relock that uh, to yes yeah, sort out this and put on camera again give it all a charge rename stuff and uh, yeah I'll look at taking this outside and we'll give it a bit of a test flight. I don't think we'll be in time for that unknown signal, but um, yeah, we'll see see how things go. Uh, back in a little bit. Pokey pokey, so that is, uh, that's all sorted now. Just got to load up a timer. Um, so this is called unknown signal retrieval uh, retrieval drone cool and if we go into the launch one and we'll set that up so we will unknown signal retrieval drain so that's the that's the shortcut i put on all of them so batteries on first and then hydro tanks off the stop file thrusters on lights on antenna on unlock i think that's it um piston just them all do separately. Okay, so that's that's fine. Let's do no, that's fine. Okay, so right, let's uh, let's get going and give it a test flight. Exciting. So it's quite a quite a nuggety little. Um, little thing right, come on come on doors let's turn, turn the antenna on this just head out here um, actually we'll, we'll head down here Tell you why, because we might just um, plug into that. Let's just quickly do this. So that's the wrong height. Let's get rid of you, and we'll just put you in there.
so I'm not keen on landing this on the subgrid. Alright, so let's just check the antenna. I'll make that 10,000. Cool. And timer, launch, fingers and toes, cross, start. Cool. Then we'll go in here. Unavailable. on oh that's what it is so if you look here enable broadcasting you need to turn that on in order for it to broadcast now people ask because I looked this up for when I did my three minute tutorial on the uh, antennas why there is on off and enable bro what what is the point of enable broadcasting so the point of it is, is you can just press the O shortcut and turn it turn it off. So you can see over in the, the, the bottom right hand corner. So basically it gives you the same shortcut that's in your suit. But there is sort of no shortcut for turning things on and off. They need to have some other function. So now that should be there. Haha. -ha. Fantastic. Right, let's uh let's load up quickly. So forward. These are just my stock standard positions. Down, uh, unlock, switch lock, and like switch. We'll reverse you. Don't worry about the antenna. Where's the? Oh, there they are. On off. Recharge and stockpile on off. Okay, and then a spot in there for the timer just to, just to get that going. So now we can do that. Cool. Cool, and we'll extend you out. Whoa. Okay, that, that's, that's not working. Uh-oh. Okay, it's just... Um, That's not working at all. <laughs> yeah, okay, something something seriously wrong with that. And it got it's still there now, but it got a lot worse when I extended that piston. And my word, this is loud. This is horrendously loud. Okay. So let's do a shutdown thing. Set up actions. Unknown signal. Tree will try. Okay, so first things first. We'll lock that. Turn you off. Put you on a stockpile. Turn the lights off. Put the batteries on recharge. Turn the antenna off. And uh, that's, that's it, I think. So if we trigger you now, it should all just uh, should all work. Cool. Now I'm disconnected because, of course, it. Um, because okay so right you're just gonna have to i think leave this with me for a short period and yeah let's um potentially move that so i've got this space here which is actually actually for another remote control because potentially i need a second one to get out hmm We do that and then tell you what I could put another um get the right colour. 
Uh, I could put another fuel tank in there. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to put a landing gear underneath here, and uh, that's that's where that will go. I can put a camera there. So, and put the lights. So. Alright, so uh, yeah, leave, leave this with me for a little bit, and I will have a bit of a play with this, and uh, see if I can't get things sorted. Alright, so um, just talk amongst yourselves while uh, we're waiting for another unknown signal, because it disappeared. But um, yes, the solar arrays, the lights just went on before, so we're up to two hours. So in actual fact, these arrays are pretty much bang on. They're not going to need anything. So really happy with that. And here we are. We've had a pretty much a full day. Still three hours to recharge, so I guess we've been using stuff. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's um, that's good. Good news from that perspective. So uh, we'll head back over here. I'll just, uh, yeah, I've got everything all sorted, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a test flight. And then yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully get another signal soon. That would be good. Oh, I can't launch it from here, can I? Need to <laughs> need to connect to it. Yeah, so uh, let's just give this a go. And then launch. Start. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Uh, not so awesome. Why can't we control you? Can we get into the terminal? Yeah, we can get in the terminal. Why can't we control it? Oh, because there's, there's two. I put another remote on, so if we make that main remote control. Let's just try that again. Yes, now we got the option to control it, so that's good. Alright. Alright, well, we may as well just give it a bit of a fly. We need to. Oh, gosh, this is so loud. Um, need to put the landing gear on there. Should we switch switch lock? And the down. Okay, well that's pretty good. That's real good. Just park it back up. And I'll just wait for an unknown signal. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, there's uh, there's an unknown signal. Uh, yeah, it was like waiting for the kettle to boil. Really, where's it going? Over there somewhere. Right, let's go. Let's go grab it. So launch. Uh, yeah, I mean, I will have a, as I say, a bit of a hanger for this thing. And let's jump into here, sun is just going down, control U, yes, still just as loud, oh, I'm going to have to have my headphones off, right. time for, all good so yeah I'll have to set up a um, down. I will need to set up different than the retrieval one on Triton we'll be used to it Alright, 
Let's uh, just take this back, and that will be us for today. As you can see, I've already got the got the hint, hint, nudge, nudge sign out. But yeah, I will um, I will set this up with a uh, some sort of um, autopilot to get it back. Yeah, I'm quite glad I've got the nudge. Just, just drop you down here. Phone's back on. Let's see if there's anything in here. So uh, yes, thanks everybody for watching today. Hope you did enjoy today's episode. Stuff in there we'll grab. Everything looks pretty much intact. And actually, this was a pretty good test. If if any unknown signal is going to get burnt by the thrusters, it's going to be this one. Good news. Okay. Um, yes, so, as I was saying, thanks everybody for watching, hope you did enjoy today's episode, and can join me again next time, when, uh, yeah, I guess we'll um, start digging a hole down here and making a bit of a hanger for this thing, that's, that's the sort of plan, and a grinder pit, grinder pit as well, just as the sun goes down, oh, it's, it's been a good couple of days, it really has, so yes, uh, hopefully you can join me again next time, let me just get in my typical little, ooh, that's not it, There we go. Uh, yes, until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one.